This video is on the final critique that I had over my fall trimester of 2017. So during final critique, you show all the work that you made during the 10 week trimester and it's a private critique between the student and the two instructors, Matt and Magda. So I have all my work taped to boards and put up on easels so you can see it all at once. I think this is really cool and a good idea to do this so you can, it makes it really evident the progress that you're making, but then it's also easy once you're seeing everything all at once. You it really starts to show your strengths and weaknesses. And so for my little pencil drawings that I do on Tuesday evenings, we talked about those and they said it looks like I get the the gesture of the model really fast and easy, which I feel like I do now. Um, but they said that something that I really should focus on is proportions. And so they're always talking about gesture and proportion, always in um, every, critique that I get and so it's good that I'm getting the gesture pretty quickly now but um, I know that I can get the gesture really fast and so maybe because I want to finish a drawing or I don't know I, I think I can slack then on the proportions which I shouldn't do because um, it's always better than if you can really get a sense of the specific model and how they they're what makes them different and unique, so you're not following a formula or anything. So that's something that um, I really do want to start focusing on um, hyperly is getting and working on the proportions of all the figures that I do. Also, we talked about varying the size of brush strokes. So this trimester, I have been really focusing, especially in my still life, where I have a lot of different materials that I was working with, like a glossy ceramic vase, um, a wood plank, garlic, carpet. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on varying up the, the brush strokes with how I'm putting paint down so it kind of gives a sense of the different materials that I'm painting. But something that Matt specifically has recently pointed out to me is the different size of brush strokes for getting different size of shapes in a painting and that's something that I've been looking at now in other people's paintings and um, other master old master paintings and something that I think my paintings are lacking that I really want to try and start getting now is that variation of shape with the size of brush strokes um, because in my paintings I will when I start a painting, I, I start with really big brush strokes and I will gradually get s smaller and smaller as I'm refining the painting. But I think it it's really interesting in other people's paintings when I see that they it, still have a really refined painting but and it's resolved in areas, but even in the highly resolved areas, if it's still there is still like a nice big simple shape with bigger brush strokes that make that up. I think having that variation not in just how you're putting paint down, but also the size of brush strokes can help to make a painting really interesting. And lastly, what they're talking about with me is how, well, how I'm really good at finding forms within shapes. So for example, if I have a, a figure and a, a figure's shoulders and chest, um, like everywhere that's like in this area, I can find those forms. And I think I do a really good job of making that look solid and good. But where I do struggle is, or where it doesn't look as nice, like it might be sloppy technique as well, is where forms kind of meet the outlines where, and go and transition into shadows. So more the edges of forms rather than the, the inside forms. And um, that's something that Magda said and then Matt was and her were both explaining that to me and it's something that I hadn't realized before and then seeing all the work that I'd done um, that started becoming pretty evident to me where it seems like the the shadow line and transitioning from the mostly I guess the dark half tone into the lights it's kind of um, um, well it doesn't look that it doesn't look that good and I think I can work on those transitions more and I know when I do paint those areas so for example they're pointing out with with the portrait I did of Kevin 
and he has his arm down and there's um, a shadow line that divides his arm from his torso and I know when I was doing that I was kind of dragging the paint down and um, I know I'm not as happy with those areas I guess where it transitions from shadow dark half tone into the to the light and I guess especially where it's transitioning quickly um, so forms that are moving fast from the the shadow to the light and that's something that I need to work on and I guess I can't even talk about it too much because I need to practice that so I can understand it more but um, that's something that I'm really glad that they brought up because it was something that was kind of I guess going over my head and I wasn't even noticing that in my work but once they pointed it out I see what they're saying and so I just got to figure out how to how to handle it better but like I said hopefully then I can talk about this more um, in the next trimester when I'm practicing it and then they could help me and give me um, tips and critiques on how to how to do it right and so that was pretty much my final critique um they said a lot of good nice things and also gave me a lot of things that I can be looking at and focusing on to get better so all in all I think a really good final critique and so now I'm going to show all the work that I did during this trimester